Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Nick. We're going to start building this short block into a long block. Starting with the bottom, which oil is, screen. Which is now the top. Well, bottom's now on top, but that's yeah. only because it's upside down. Yeah. So I like to use gasket cinch on these. Screen, gasket cinch, front plate, torque the bolts in place. We had one of these guys come out, so I cleaned it up, put some Loctite on there, throw it back in place. Hopefully it's good to go. But yeah, we're going to do all that stuff. And some old gasket cinch. I don't think that that's really the best. Uh, I mean, that'll do the job. All right, you got some gloves? Um, what's it? I call that a well coated gasket. Apparently, I am a medium. So, I did that one. So, these. You get to do this one right there. Spread them on both sides of that. I mean, think this is working. Put that on the engine. So, it does, press it in. And those are supposed to have a tight fit. I don't know. You have these grippy things off the bottom. Yep. There, there we go. Alright. Continue to coat that both sides. And then, how? That one here. Not bad. Good. This must not ever probably. So put the copper on there? Pens. Nope. Not yet. Focus on this. Okay, did both sides really good? Yeah. Alright. Oh yeah, that goes on the first time. What are you trying to hold on at this point? Are you trying to hold the air inside the engine or are you going to try to hold mm -hmm. the oil inside the engine? I don't know where this came from. This may have come from Kyle. But Thanks Kyle if you gave it to us. Yeah. Now this thing is okay. in inch pounds. So 5 times 12 would be 60. Oh, now, got all of them. Watch this point and listen. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. From here. So the short one goes in there, right? Short one at the back. And then long one in the front. Long one in the front. Now we get to use our oil squirter. We get a little squirt with a piece on. Mm -hmm. Squirt. All right, you want to do the back one? Sure. So I'm going to give this a wipe down, all the way around the circles, and then give it a squirt in there, a squirt on that, and drop her in. Squirt in there. Si, senor. Oh, it's not quite dropping up. There we go. Squirt on this. Okay, mind what you're doing this <laughs> over, oh. so you don't get a bunch of oil everywhere else, but it's fine. Oh, way more. Oh, here we go. It's way harder to compress, but actually it compressed in. Eight seems to work pretty good last time. Boom! Mm -hmm. Way closer to running, huh? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, okay, one second. I think I think we might need a something. It's not starting. Dad, it stopped recording because your storage is full. Ah, uh, something. Um, dang it. All right, well. Hopefully, hopefully, we got enough decent video on <laughs> decent audio. It's been a while since I've done any video bleachings. But anyway, <laughs> that's that done. We can get on to the fun of doing this. First things first, we've got to put this to the side so we can prep our uh, pistons. Yep, for one side anyway. Three and number four. Unless you're hungry for dinner, it's 5.45. You want to get some dinner first? Yeah, fine. Okay. Well, we've got some dinner, got some memory cleared off the phone. we got number three. Yeah. Oh, you think you're fancy, you're going to steal my share, huh? That drops down too if you want. Yeah. First things first, we need to take all these things outside, spray them down with brick cleaner so that they are all nice and clean. I'm going to blow this table off as well. Oh yeah, there's pins in there too. That's useful. If you want to have a wrist. Or only if you want it to connect to the connector, right? I mean, that's kind of helpful. All right, mate. Here is your piston instruction. So what do you got to do first? Probably bottom. Yep. Which part of the bottom? The middle, right? Or the middle? Is it bottom? Yep. What do we do with that? It goes in the middle of the bottom. And make sure that the colors are not overlapped. They're butted together, not overlapped. Yeah, not overlapped like the other one was. Yeah, we did find that one oil scraper ring was overlapped. Yeah. So now this one? It does go to the bottom side, so it's going to go underneath that scraper. So try and get that one positioned in underneath the groove. There you go. Oh, there you go. What are you doing now? The top. Okay. All right. Now you got the pliers. Remember, mm -hmm. you make sure that, remember, there's a middle <laughs> ring, and there's a top ring, and there's a bottom, and there's a top. The groove is on the top, and the indent goes on the bottom. Yep, I remember. All right. So this one goes on the bottom then, huh? 
Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, huh. Is that the bottom one? Yep, bottom one. Okay. And, yeah, bottom. Alright, good, good. Now how the top one? Boom, done. Now I'm guessing that we're going to need this. You need some oil. Yeah. Oh yeah, oil, huh. And you need to sell all your green gaps. Oh yeah, huh. Like those green gaps? Yep. <laughs> now, looking at the top of your piston, remember <laughs> this is always going to point to your flywheel. Mm -hmm. And since this is the number mm -hmm. three, your intake mm -hmm. ring is the top <laughs> ring. So this is the intake compression ring. Mm -hmm. It's going to point there. Your lower ring is going to point there. And then you've got mm -hmm. to set up your oil ring as well. Your oil ring is probably already near the top. Just get it set, set top and center. Yeah, it should be right there in the middle here. And this is, what about the bottom two? The bottom two, we're going to put one bottom one over this way, basically just below that ring skirt right there. And the other one, you're going to go just below that ring skirt right oh, there. Yeah. Does it matter which one or? No, <laughs> just take your pick. Yeah. So that one goes there and that one goes about there. Oh. That's close enough, yep. Yeah. All right, so those ones are the hard ones to move, and those guys are the easy ones. Your oil ring is still at the top, so that one's going to go there. And this one, because your intake comes right here, so all those intake gases you want to be over here, and this thing you want opposite side of that. Make sure everything's set up there. But actually, first things first, let's make sure we have this thing set like we're going to go in the engine. So we're going to come in we'll like that. Hold on. Right? Yep, so we'll go like that. If you want to do it like that, so you're looking at it like that. So it's going to go in the cylinder like that. So now we got to oil it up. Wait, so one you that way? Oh, well then it would have to go Nathan, opposite ways. It's going to go from here to yeah. right there. Oh, uh -huh, it's right okay. there. Trust me. You may not be a professional engine builder, but on occasion I've done this before. Lube that up a little bit. Grab these guys. Make sure these are lubed up. Nice and clean too. Yep. Yeah. Have a handy set of these guys. Come around like so. And just grab onto that thing oh. tightly. And then we go in like that. Oh, hold on. Let me get my wrist pin lined up properly. Like that. Woo! Don't you go no more. And then yeah, that's what grab the orange dead blow hammer. Tap, tap, tap. Quick, 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 quick. Quick taps. Yeah. All right. Uh, apparently not that quick. And apparently these things are <laughs> not the best compressors try again. <laughs> All right, hold on. I may have to customize these <laughs> guys a little bit. Yeah, and that's why I like quality ring compressors, and these just ain't necessarily them. Rebend them. Oh yeah, try to them. We'll try this. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Now it's Yeah. That's go. So, in mm -hmm. cases like that, because notice we have that really hard edge right there. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's easier to come in against the bottom. Oh, it's yeah, got that no. rounded edge. Okay. And realistically, it's fine. It's just as hard as you think like that. So if it's mm -hmm. going in that way, we mm -hmm. need our... Air pointing. Air pointing that way. I just think about it. That's the flat edge. It needs to be opposite of the flat edge. Because that is the yeah. middle. And hold on. Intake. And you need to So that's that way. And now I'll just compress it, right? Alright, now set it. One more try. Just one more try. One more try. Get your fingers out of the way, otherwise I'm not pinching. All right, tap, tap. Great. Go to the center. So. All right, hit it. Oh. All right. This is doing almost there. Damn. All right, hit it. There we go. Now we're in it to win it. So that mark is where the um, air is supposed to be pointing, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, apparently. Yeah, looks like it. All right. Now we got to do a couple things. Uh, it's going to be, be easier to put the wrist pin in this way, on this side. So we got to put a clip, wrist pin clip, in on this side. Oh, yeah. Needing those pliers. Does it really matter groove. which way it's really in? Or does it as just... As long as it goes in that groove. Oh, that's right. good. So now you take your screwdriver. Oh. Is it? Nope, not in the top. That's why you take your screwdriver. Yeah. And you grab one of the hooks and you just spin it around. Yeah. Grab the hook from the inside. Oh, yeah. And push, spin it around. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now try the other side. There you go. Now you mm -hmm. know it's in the groove. Because the last thing that we want is that not to be in and pop it out. Yep. And this is true. Here. 
Alright, now the sealant. Aviation sealant is the stuff I like to use. Some people use Yamabon or there's a couple other different type of sealants, but this is closest to what Volkswagen used and I find this stuff, it actually never really dries, ever. It just remains tar indefinitely. Forever. Forever. <laughs> As they used to say in the sand a lot. Every time I watch it anyway. You see what I'm doing there? Just yeah. do a nice, nice even bead. And as, soon as, it, as soon as it starts not running down into a puddle, get some more. See how it kind of sets into a puddle? Yeah. All right, where's your wristpan? All right, it's going to come in from this side. Which means that this has to go. So, no, put your wristpan in. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's get a little, little oils on the holes, and on the holes, and on that. Smear it around with your fingers. And slide that in. Watch where you're putting your fingers, though. You've got to be very mindful of where you're putting things. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Now we're going to pick that up. It's heavy. You're going to turn it around and set it over the top. All right. Now I'll grab this. If you want to do that wrist pin set, drop it down a little bit more. And there we go. There you go. Yeah, as far as possible. All right. Can you get in there? Yeah, it should be able to. Alright, and grab your screwdriver. Remember that trick I just taught you? Mm-hmm. Try to spin it one way and spin it the other. Yeah, looks like it's in. Okay. Alright. Mm -hmm. That one. Piston number three. And cylinder. Boom. Number three. It's done, buddy. Boom. Does it spin? It sure looks like it. Huh. That was it. Affirmative, buddy. <laughs> A nice light coat of oil I can see on those cylinder walls when we're <laughs> running them up and down. So that's beautiful. Boom! Now just need to do that three more times. Yep. All right, let's do this side. Number uh, mm -hmm. four. Cylinder oh, yeah. number four. important right here before you do anything else put in your deflect tin this one right yep mm -hmm. all right and that tin fits very very tightly okay. over these guys and we've got a good seat there got a good seat there now we were talking to kyle last night or i was texting kyle last night after i cc'd those heads told him how we were going he's like no you got to bump that compression ratio up and i i agree it's 6.4 to 1 is a little bit too low so kyle is going to be nice enough to give us a set of his heads that he had machined a while back uh that he couldn't end up using for some reason but they have 48 cc combustion chambers Which and is with the 48cc combustion chambers, we're going to end up with 7.9 to 1 compression ratio, which is far better then for performance. 6.7 and 6.4. But in the meantime, give me a head. It's up. Because we are going to temporarily bolt them on to keep everything in place. And also because it looks cool too. Yeah, it looks cool too. But mostly because <laughs> that'll keep everything Boom, that. in place on this side. Yeah. Huh. Boom. Hard work. Yep. It's like a brand new top end other than push that's, rods. That's pretty much exactly what it is. Push rods, rocker covers, and wobbly rockers. All right. 715. You think we can get the other side done? Yeah, probably. All right. It's just 45 minutes. Just two cylinders. It's not like we're building a V8 or something. All right, dude. That's uh, this side done. Yeah. Huh. All right. Let's spin her around. and Look at that. For my first time it's ever. Half. It's in I too. Nathan, 
you got almost got an engine here, buddy. Mm -hmm. Almost got one. Yeah. I mean, yeah, the heads are just temporarily on here, just yeah. holding the cylinders in place till we can get some cylinder heads with some smaller combustion chambers. Yeah, which, which is going to be very useful for actually trying to move the giant 30 threes. Possibly 33 inch tall tires. Yeah. Yeah. That extra power that we're going to get from a bump and compression ratio up to about 7.9 to 1. It's going to be way better. That'll be helpful. That'll be helpful. And again, it's below 8 to 1, so it's not going to be too hot. That should be a really, really good set of heads for this. Thank you, Kyle. I think Kyle's actually got another rocker assembly for you, too. Yeah. Because one of yours has two broken stands. So we need those better heads from Kyle. Awesome. Mm -hmm. One more rocker assembly from Kyle. Awesome. On that note, life's full of good people. If you can't find one, be one. Later, guys.